What's going on boys, Shane here, and today I'm going to be going over Bangalore in Apex Legends, some tips and tricks to be better with her ultimates, her passive abilities, and her special abilities, and just overall how to use her most effectively. Now Bangalore is definitely one of my favorite legends in Apex Legends. Um, her passive ability is definitely one of the most overpowered ones or best ones, especially considering how it's a direct counter to one of my least favorite things about the game. In Apex Legends, typically when you get shot, you run slower and you get more clunky and it's harder to move around. But with Bangalore's passive ability, you actually run faster when you're getting shot at. So in close course situations, for example, you can strafe enemies really fast, especially if you're not aiming down sights, you can move back and forth super fast. Or if you're getting shot at from long range, you can run behind cover really fast and not worrying about getting hit by more than maybe one or two bullets. Her ultimate ability is pretty good. Um, it it basically is an artillery barrage that throws down a ton of rockets on the area where you throw the flare and it does decent damage to enemies. Uh, it's really good if you want to tag the enemies up and then push in with your squad as they're trying to heal. Um, in addition to this, if the enemies don't move, there's a pretty good chance you can get some kills and also it's good to use if you're third partying teams as well. If you see two teams fighting, you can Kobe this all the way over there and you should be able to get some tags and maybe even some kills with it. Uh, when it hits the enemies, it not only does damage, but it'll also slow them down, uh, making it really hard for them to move around. So if you, for example, one of my favorite things to do with this is if you have your teammates inside a building, and then you have enemies sort of surrounding them, and you're sort of further up on the hill, maybe something like that, uh, you can throw this down around the building, and the enemies will either be forced to funnel into the building, right into your teammates' uh, pre-aims, or they'll be slowed down and really disoriented outside of the building and your teammates can easily pick up the kills. This character's L1 ability is a smoke grenade. Uh, this is super, super useful for resing your teammates, for looting out in open areas. It's just a very tactical um, ability in my opinion. I love using it to loot when enemies are looking at me from long range. Um, and I especially love being able to revive my teammates when I pop. This legend is a very aggressive legend. From being able to move faster when they're shooting at you, to being able to cross open areas and close the gap with the smoke grenade, and then being able to tag them up before you are even there with your artillery barrage, this is just a super, super awesome legend, and it's definitely my favorite one so far. Um, I see many people misuse the smoke grenade, not use it as much as they can, but this weapon is really, really awesome to use. But this ability is super, super useful, and I recommend you use it almost every time you get it, just because of how tactically viable it is. And then the artillery barrage, I see people often misuse it. Um, it will actually stun your teammates if you throw it down on them. So make sure it's not hitting your teammates, or make sure to give your teammates fair warning so they can get inside to a building, like I said before. And it will do damage to you, so make sure that you don't run into it, and just use it to tag up enemies before you get there. Um, in addition to this, definitely be sure to call out when you're using it because um, your teammates may get mixed up with yours and in enemies and they may think, oh, Shane's calling in this artillery and then it turns out it's in enemies and they just stood there not thinking they'd take damage. Because it shouldn't damage your teammates, but it definitely will disorient them um, and it'll make it hard for them to uh, win gunfights in those scenarios. Again, boys, if you want more Apex Legends content, don't forget to drop a like down below and subscribe if you are new here. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And watch this awesome Mastiff two-piece to end the game. And I'll see you guys next time.